all this filament, an empty printer. Let's print what you want. It's Filament Friday. This week's project was suggested by user JMAP Science. It's a pencil and pen holder by Thingiverse user Delpec. I downloaded the .stl file and loaded into my XYZWare. I clicked on the export button and then I chose 15% fill, a 0.3 layer height, and I chose to not include supports even though this design looks like it probably needs them, but I wanted to see how it would go. So it ran through the slicer and then the results are shown here. Well, almost. As you can see, there's a lot missing from this design. And even the test strip is floating in air, so clearly there was something wrong. I went to the free Microsoft 3D printing repair service at the address shown here. You upload the .stl file, it repairs it, and you can download the repaired file. So I clicked on upload, found the same file that I had downloaded from Thingiverse, and uploaded that to the Microsoft service. It then went to work repairing it. Now normally it only takes 10 to 20 seconds for a lot of the files. This one took several minutes, which was interesting. When it's done, the download button highlights and you click on download. That'll give you a file of the same name with an added underscore fixed at the end of it. So now I was ready to use this in XYZWare. So I performed all the same steps as before, only this time I loaded the underscore fixed file. I used 0.3, 15% fill, no supports, and exported it. And this is what I got. This looked good, so I sent it to my printer. So here it is printed without supports. And the first section looked really, really good. And then it got to these spots where it's a bridge, it's a level. And without supports, I mean, it just got strings. So at that point, I knew I had to add supports, even though I hate to break away all that material, especially if it's going to be inside. But to print something like this, I'm going to have to. So let's do that next. I'll add supports, run it through XYZWare again, and send it to the printer. So I loaded the fixed file into XYZWare, chose the same 15% fill, 0.3 layer height, but I clicked on the supports box. From there the slicing went through and this was the result. And now you can see the supports are in place. In fact if I zoom in here you can see the supports really clearly. The results were good so I sent it to my printer. Okay, so the print is done. I had it sitting there for a while, so it broke off pretty easy. And there's definitely a ton of support, but it's hollow in these sections. So this should be interesting how well this breaks away. So let's start. There's a lot a little support here. Little nooks and crannies full. So this is going to take a little while so why don't we speed this up. So here it is all finished and it's a little bit grainy looking but not too bad. I could smooth it out definitely with some acetone and then use a q-tip or a, a rag and rub it on. But I also found these horsehair brushes at a Harbor Freight. A pack of them for like 30 of them for three dollars. And I've been using them and they, they work great. Just brush it right on and then you can throw them out. But they, they hold up, the horsehair brush holds up to the acetone. Now I noticed that this one was a little bit smoother on the bottom without the supports. So this got some rough edges because of the support. So that may be an option if you want to make it look better. But 
overall they printed pretty good. Now this is a sample print that was on my DaVinci and I printed this when I first got it and I thought what am I going to do with it? Well it became a pen holder and it's been <laughs> a great pen holder on my desk. So now I can replace it with this one. Not that great. Oh there I didn't put them in right. So looks like you can do this many different ways but it's standing up, it's not tipping over, which is what you want. So there you have it. There's your filament Friday. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you have an idea for a future filament Friday project, leave it in the comments below. Just give me the link to Thingiverse or wherever it's located. All I need is the .stl file and I'll load it into our software and print it on my DaVinci. So that's it. See you next time.